Hello everybody, Zaxter99. Welcome back to another YouTube video where I continue to point out just some of the craziest stuff, whether it be Steam games, you know, total pieces of junk that are just overpriced, maybe it's a great Steam game. I've done a lot of different things on my YouTube channel over the years. But maybe one of the craziest things I've ever seen is the price gouging for PlayStation 5s right now a day after they announced the prices and the games and stuff like that, Sony officially made the announcements yesterday. A lot of the pre-orders started today. Um, my son really wants a PlayStation 5. I tried yesterday to put in a pre-order on BestBuy.com. And when I loaded the PS5 into my cart at BestBuy.com, you know, right when they started taking pre-orders, Took forever to actually put it in my cart, but I did actually have it in my cart. But then when I tried to check out, it hung up for a long time and then finally came back and said they're sold out. Today, we saw that Walmart was taking pre-orders at 8 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. my time. I was there and ready. Just happened to see the article, you know, five minutes before. Logged into my account and tried to put a PS3, or not a PS3, a PS5, uh, into my cart and when I click the button it you know and it refreshed for like 30 seconds and at 6 o'clock 30 seconds not even a minute about 30 seconds after it started it came back and said they were out of stock so this is what I got it says save for later PlayStation 5 console out of stock again 30 seconds walmart.com was sold out so that was my experience just trying to snag one of these things and if we look here guys on ebay this is some of the craziest shit i've ever seen so you see a lot of people are trying to sell their ebays they have 10 bids they have three watchers at 730 850 etc nobody's watching this 1300 dollars one three watchers uh at this 895 remember these playstation 5s are selling for 399 for the digital version or 499 for the disc version but here you see a digital version of $399 console being, they're asking $1,300. But here's the crazy thing, guys. If you scroll down on eBay and you click on sold items, so you can see the items that have actually sold, you see that a lot of these PlayStation 5s are actually selling for double, triple, or more. Here's one, a disc version, pre-order confirmed, over $1,000 plus shipping. Now, Nobody has a PlayStation 5 right now. They don't launch until November the 12th. So almost two months from now. And people are just saying, hey, I'll ship it to you when I get it. Look at this. Here's a digital version confirmed at 43 bids. The final winner won the auction $2,150. $1,200 with Spider-Man and some other game. These are sold. Okay. So if we continue to scroll down here, guys, you're going to see one of the craziest things. Here's a pre-order confirmed because they're showing the picture of the receipt. $3,050. They probably have a good seller rating. But look at this, guys. Earlier tonight, September 17th, it's September 17th, the time that I'm recording this video. At 9.05 p.m. my time, 11.05 Eastern time, this seller actually sold his reserved disc version of $499 PS5 for over $10,500. And if we click on this, it came from Dallas, Georgia. We do see the Raider has a good rating, or the seller has a good rating. If we click on the bids here, guys, look at the bids. If we scroll all the way down, we see the seller only started the bid at 99 cents, confident that they were going to make, you know, at least the $500 they had a reserve for back. And you'll see these bids continuing to come in, like every couple of minutes for the most part, and finally end up at a $10,550 bid. It was $10,450, it was $10,000. This bidder right here won the auction i only has one review but look at this guy somebody with a hundred and, and i know some people might think yeah it's probably not a real buyer it's probably not a real ebay user what about this guy right here with 128 rating he actually bid 
10450 bucks. This guy with a 383. So if we look at this guy, as we look at this guy here with 128 rating. One, you know, it kind of blurs out his user rating. But if we look at this, we see that this guy has 128 ratings where people have rated him. You know, on if he's actually paid for his items, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, he's 100% positive. He bid, what was it, $10,500? Yeah, 10,000. This guy bid $10,450 for this item. A 100% buyer and seller rating on eBay. So I don't necessarily think that all these bids here you're seeing are bogus or BS. You're seeing that tons of these PlayStation 5s pre-orders. Here's one, $13,100. This is a sold item, guys. $13,100. 66 different bids. If we look at the... Uh, let's take a look at the winner. Winning bid, $13,100. Right here. And again, it's just a one rating. But he has 100% positive. You know? So... Who knows? Somebody with 128 again. That would even wasn't even the last guy bid thirteen thousand dollars. 128 rating, 100 percent positive. So I'm kind of thinking these bids are not BS. When we have 100 percent positive people out here with over a hundred ratings bidding a massive amount of money. What what am I making of this? I don't know. I guess I'm making that if you get your hands on a PlayStation Five. You'd be a fool to not at least try to sell it and make ten, twelve, thirteen thousand dollars. I've never seen anything like this in all my days. Uh, I know that at one point I tried to make a lot of money on PlayStation threes at their launch. I had to borrow money from my father because I remember back in two thousand six. It was the fall of two thousand six when PlayStation threes launched. If you remember. The 60 gigabyte version, I think it was. I think they had a 20 gig version and a 60 gigabyte version. The 60 gigabyte version was $600. And um, I had uh, friends out there helping me buy them. And I borrowed money from my dad. I paid somebody to help me buy one so I could sell it on eBay because I had read an article saying that they expected the PlayStation 3s to be selling for around $10,000 a piece because they were running on, you know, there was such a shortage of supply. At launch so I was like I'm gonna make some easy money so I got me some PlayStation 3s bought them and had a couple of them that I put on eBay back in the fall of 2006 however I didn't have this kind of luck what happened is I think everybody across the country read that same article that I saw online saying they were gonna sell for ten thousand dollars or more and everybody was trying to sell them and I think I put them in and same thing as a lot of these I started at 99 cents or whatever and the auction sold at like close to 700 I believe. But after I paid a friend to help me out and buy one, I paid him 50 bucks to stand there in line with me, I think. I had to pay eBay fees. I had to pay shipping costs, everything like that. I ended up losing about $50. Uh, trying to, and, I, and I stayed up overnight, like all day, one day, stayed overnight at the Walmart, waited in line until the next morning. Like I was in line like 30-something hours, I think, to get these PlayStation 3s. And I ended up losing money trying to be greedy like this. So now's the time to do it. If you can snag a PS5 online and not have to stand in line, and you can turn around and show proof of your receipt, and you got a good seller rating, it looks like at least right now, you might make some big bucks. I just wanted to go ahead and put this out there, let you guys see this live. Um, it's craziness. Let me know what you guys think down below about these winning auctions, $10,000, $13,000 and more. And I didn't even look, guys. I mean, I looked for like two minutes and I found these. So I'm sure if I scoured all the listings, I'm sure I'd find even more craziness. But let me know if you guys have seen a crazy, you know, sell price or whatever. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you plan on buying a PlayStation 5. Maybe you've already got one reserved. Are you now thinking about selling it? I'd love to know your story, your situation on the PlayStation 5 and this absolute craziness that we're seeing right now. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Zaxter99. Stay safe out there, especially if you're going to be waiting in line overnight for a PlayStation 5 that people might be looking to stab you in the neck for if they're going for over 10K. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in uh, the next video. Take care.